Good morning, dear students. How are you today? I hope you are fine. Today we are going to complete the story and we will start with chapter three. Please go and get your storybook till I start. So today we are going to start with chapter three, but what happened previously that Alice Star entered Wonderland and she saw a different kind of animals and they were strange. They start to make a race to get dry Alice was annoying them by her cat, Dina, and she told them that she is perfect at catching mouse and birds too. So all the animals gave uh, Alice an excuse just to let her to leave her alone. So she was sad and alone again. Then the mouse asked the white, sorry, the white rabbit asked um, Alice to bring him his fan and his gloves. And she thought that he thought her that she is his maid. So that's what previously happened in the past chapter. So today let's check chapter three and what's the new events in it. I will start to read from page 10. Please look at your storybook first, then we are going to start with the conversation, with the presentation, sorry. So chapter three, the gloves and fan were on a small table near a window in the tiny little room she took them in her hands and as she turned to leave she was a very sorry she saw a very small bottle on the table there was no label on the bottle this time but alice thought every time i drink or eat something very interesting things happen so she began to drink immediately she started growing bigger and bigger until her head hit the ceiling and as she continued to grow, one of her arms went out of the window and one of her legs went up the chimney, as it's shown in front of you in the picture. Number 10. Then she suddenly stopped growing. Alice couldn't move and she felt very uncomfortable. Oh, my life is like a fairy tale, like a book, she said. Just then, she heard the rabbit's angry voice. Marianne, bring me my gloves this moment. Alice heard little feet going up the stairs. And then the rabbit turned to open the door, but he couldn't as she filled, filled the whole room with her arm was pressing against the door. I will go round and get in through the window, the rabbit said. But when he reached the window and saw Alice's huge arm coming out of it, he started, please turn the page, page 12. He started throwing rocks at her. Some of the rocks came in through the window and hit her in the face. Stop that, she shouted, and there was silence outside. Soon the rocks started turning into cakes. And Alice had a great idea. If I eat one of those cakes, I will certainly change again. I cannot get any bigger, so I will probably get smaller. So she ate one and started getting smaller. When she was small enough to get out, she immediately ran out of the house and into the woods. Now I must become my normal size again, Alice said. I must find something to eat or drink. But the question is, what? Just then, she saw a large mushroom in front of her. Alice stood on her toes to see what was on the top of it. And her eyes met with the eyes of a large caterpillar. Who are you? said the caterpillar in a sleepy voice. I don't know, Alice said. I don't know who am I right now. What do you mean? the caterpillar asked. I, can, I change size many times in a day. It is very confusing, Alex explained. It isn't, said the caterpillar. Well, said Alice, you will find out someday when you turn into a butterfly. No, I won't, the caterpillar said. Well, said Alice again, maybe you will just very different from me. You? Who are you? asked the caterpillar. 
Why don't you tell me who you are first, said Alice. Why, asked the caterpillar. Alex couldn't think of any good answer and she got very angry. She turned around and walked away. Hey, come back, the caterpillar said. I have something important to say. Alice went back. What size do you want to be? asked the caterpillar. Well, I like to be a little larger, she said. I don't want to be only three inches tall. It means that she is very, very small. Please turn the page on page 14. Why not? Three inches is a good height, said the caterpillar, and it stood up. It was exactly three inches high. Alice watched it getting off the mushroom. One side will make you taller and the other side will make you shorter, the caterpillar said as it was went away. One side of what? thought Alice. The other side of what? Of the mushroom? said the caterpillar and it disappeared into the tall grass. And that was the end of chapter 3. Please let's check the presentation. Chapter 3, Alice in Wonderland. The first slide is the main points of the story of what we read. Alice got a very big and stuck herself in a house. The rabbit threw rocks at Alex that turned into cakes. Alex got smaller when she ate the cakes. Alice has interesting conversation with a caterpillar on a mushroom. The caterpillar told Alice a riddle and disappeared. Next slide is the question slide. Question number one. Sorry. Why couldn't the rabbit open the door of the house? Because Alice filled the whole room and her arms was pressing against the door. Number two. What was Alice's idea about eating one of those cakes? If you remember the cakes the rabbit was throwing at her. Alice had an idea that if she ate one of those cakes, it will certainly change again. And she can't get any bigger, so she will probably get smaller. Number three, now I must become my normal size again. Comment. These words were said by Alice to herself when she got smaller after eating the cakes and running out of the house. She was thinking about something to eat or drink to change into her normal size. For the next slide, number four, what did Alice and the caterpillar have in common? That both of them are exactly three inches high. Let's check the complete questions. Every time I drink or eat something, very interesting things happened. Number two, when Alice ate one of the cakes, she started getting smaller. Number three, the caterpillar disappeared into the tall grass. One side will make you taller and the other side will make you shorter. That was the complete question, and that was the end of chapter three of the story. See you later in other chapter. Bye-bye.